Hi guys, it's Tuesday Inspiration with Toby. Of course, um, it's a sad time in Nigeria and uh, just so downcasted, you know, with the whole um, police brutality and sad suppression. But we can only hope for a better future and I want to say that we should keep um, doing our best to just fight back this ill society so that we can get that peace that we desire and that future that we want as youths in Nigeria because this affects all of us all over the world. But let's go straight to today's Tuesday inspiration with Toby, which is chance. Chance. For every individual trying to achieve a thing, for everyone who is trying to become something, for everyone who is trying to ensure that he becomes or he or she becomes successful there's a need to keep giving it your best you have to keep giving your best shots at life you have to keep giving your best shot at all the things that come your way you have to you know ensure that you're just doing all you could possibly do to get to that desired spot which is really why you are existing and we tend to sometimes feel demoralized, we tend to be very downcasted and feel like yes, there's no point doing what we are doing, there's no point just investing our time or energy into everything that we're involved with or involved in because we're not seeing results. Yes, a lot of us want to start something today and yes, see the results immediately. As much as I also want to see results immediately, I also understand that it takes a consistent mind or a consistent person to achieve that desired um, success. If I know that I'm starting anything today, I know that it's going to take time for it to um, materialize or for it to measure up to what I want it to be. But if I just say, okay, I want to achieve success and I'm not gathering experiences, I'm not um, doing all I have to do on my own part and, you know, just ensuring that I'm studying, I'm gaining knowledge, I'm, you know, relating with the right people, I'm using the right tools and what have you. If you mention a lot of things that are involved in you be being successful, becoming successful, it's quite enormous. You can't um, finish measuring. But it's good once we think that, yes, we want to take a break. Sometimes you feel like you want to take a break. You feel like you just want to be in your personal space. You don't want any stress. It's very fine. But what you must be conscious of is that when you're taking a break, you do not have to have um, an I do mindset. And I do mindset, meaning that you will not allow your brain to go to sleep because you're trying to take a break from the stress of the hustle and muscle. It's important for you to keep equipping yourself. I give you an instance. If you're hungry or if you're tired, sometimes it might be that yes, you need food and water to survive. Yes, you now try to get the food and water. You see that when you take the food and water, you know, it calms you down a little and you begin to you know, do things that you could ordinarily not do because there was no strength or uh, because you were probably hungry or because there was no nutrients in your body to keep you going. That's the same way sharpening your skills or increasing your potentials or engaging and embracing your crafts is if you keep equipping yourself with the right knowledge, you keep equipping yourself with all things possible that will make you successful. Then when you get a chance, you would shine bright and brighter than you would ever imagine. If you have the opportunity today, if a chance should come for you today to do that thing you belong to, to be or that thing you belong to do, you know, would you be prepared for it? How prepared do you think you are for that um, chance that you've been looking for? Yes, I need a chance to, um, to, to showcase my, my, my talent to the world. Are you sure you're prepared for it? Are you sure that you would be able to stand and actually articulate your points? Are you sure that you would be able to stand and actually prefer solutions to the problems that you've always thought that you could prefer solutions to? 
I'm asking you this question because I know that a lot of us will have the chance to become successful, but how prepared are we? Most of us are not prepared, most of us just feel like, yeah, let's just live this life and, you know, whatever comes is just going to be fine. No, don't accept whatever comes. When there is a chance for you to showcase yourself, be everly prepared and just show yourself to the world that yes, you can do that thing that you always say that you could do. Um, a lot of us come up with excuses why we do not make things work or why things will not work. We come up with excuses such as, oh, okay, I don't have finances. Yeah, finances are very important for us to, to go. But if you have the money to go right now, what exactly are you going to be investing the money in? Yes, the money is going to be the chance. That's your chance to, you know, turn it around to whatever you can, you can turn it to. But do you have that capability to even manage or maintain that funds that you're desiring? You need to think about that and you need to ensure that you're putting in work to being the best you could be. And this is from someone called Ovid. He said, chance is always powerful. Let your hope always be cast in the pool where you least expect it. There will be fish. Chance is always powerful. Let your hook always be cast in the pool where you least expect it. There will be fish. There's another one from Sophocles and says that chance never helps those who do not help themselves. Chance never helps those who do not help themselves. Meaning that, yes, you want to achieve something. Are you ready to achieve it? Are you doing your best? Are you gathering knowledge? Are you trying to gather experiences that will make you achieve what you want to achieve? If you get the chance today, what exactly are you going to use it for? These are thoughts that you need to constantly ask yourself as you grow, as you glow, as you feel like, yes, you are shining. How well do you want to shine? Are you okay with that your spot or that particular place that you are? Do you want to get things to the next level? It's up to you to decide today. So give yourself all necessary support that you could and watch you just becoming that best version of yourself um, that you so desire. There's more than you currently know. There's more to you than you currently know. Things will work out. Your chance will come. But are you prepared for it? Look for that area where you're lagging behind and begin to invest in yourself. And when the chance comes, boom, you just shine. Don't forget to be at peace at all times. Don't forget to also join the cause to end police brutality in Nigeria and also end SAS. We need reformation generally in the country. I hope we get better. While we're striving to be the best version of ourselves to get a better life, let's also strive to be good citizens of the country. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. Long live the Nigerian youths. No more police brutality. See you next week Tuesday. Thank you for joining me.